Hello, good day everyone. This is lecture 1.2. Simplification, addition, and subtraction of algebraic expressions. This will be the last topic for today. And our for our learning objectives, we should be able to simplify algebraic expressions by removing symbols of grouping. And then at the end of this lecture, you should be able also to add and subtract two or more algebraic expressions. When we say simplification of algebraic expressions containing grouping symbols, what we do here is to remove each pair of these symbols starting from the innermost pair to the outermost pair and combine like terms. <clears throat> For group expressions preceded by a minus sign, the pair of grouping symbols is removed by changing the signs of each term in the expressions enclosed by the grouping symbols. So you change the sign if it is preceded by a minus sign. For example, we have the following here. Let's skip the, this one. <clears throat> Notice that 3 times the quantity time uh, the quantity 2 plus 5, and then you have your brace there, y minus, again, you have your parenthesis, 2y minus x, and then close in parenthesis and a brace, and again, a parenthesis, minus 4x. Notice that the innermost symbol of grouping is 2y minus x. So what we're going to do is to consider changing the sign because it's preceded by a minus sign. So change the sign of this one. So minus, is, it's a plus. So it becomes minus 2y and then minus of minus that becomes plus x. So this is how it is done. We have, this is the innermost symbol grouping. So that's why it becomes y. Then we have minus 2y that becomes plus x. Now, if we consider again these, these uh, terms, we have y minus 2y. When we combine the term, that becomes minus y. And then you have your x plus x. So, from there, you have y minus 2y is negative. Uh, y minus 2y should give us negative y. Okay, so 5y, or in this case, because 5 was just distributed, can be written as 5y times negative 2y, that becomes 5y minus 10y, then 5 times x, we have 5x. But if we consider y minus 2y first, which gives us negative, negative y, then... 5y minus 10y from here is negative 5y. And 5 times negative y will still be negative 5y. Okay. So, you still get the same quantity which is negative 5y. So, 2 plus 5y minus 10y plus 5x. That becomes from here, you have... Uh, 5y minus 10y is negative 5y, so 2 minus 5y, then we have 5x. If we try to remove this, this symbol of grouping, that becomes 3 times 2 minus 5y plus 5x minus 4x. And if we combine 5x minus 4x, that's x. So you have 3 times 2 minus 5y plus x. Furthermore, we have this value, which is now equal to 6. This is uh, minus 5y, correct? So, 3 times 2, that's 6. 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y. 3 times x is 3x. The final answer is 6 minus 15y plus 3x. For the next example here, 
first, we have your definition on addition and subtraction of two or more al al algebraic expressions. So, the method is by simplification and then combining like terms. For example, you're asked to add 5x, 5 times the quantity x minus y plus 2z, and negative 2 times the quantity x plus 2y minus z. For the solution, can distribute 5 to this quantity. So we have 5x minus 5y plus 10z. And then because this is preceded by a minus sign, so minus 2x minus 4y plus negative 2 times 2y, negative of negative z. Uh, negative 2 times negative z is plus 2z. And then combining terms, you have 5x minus 10x is 3x. Five, no, minus 5y minus 4 is, is negative 9y. 10z plus 2z is 12z. So we have that. So 5x minus 2x minus 5y. Minus 4y, 10z plus 2z. So, because these are similar terms, that becomes 3x minus 9y. Remember, you have the same sign. And then 10z plus 2z is 12z. So, I have 3x minus 9y plus 12z. Another example is to subtract minus 5 the quantity x minus y plus 2z from minus 2, the quantity x plus 2y minus z. When you say from, mean to say you subtract this quantity from this quantity. So you have to rewrite it as this one, minus twice of the quantity x plus 2y minus z minus of, okay, this one, because you are to subtract this quantity from this. So, minus of minus 5 times x minus y plus 2z. Okay? But this means you have here minus 2x minus 4y plus 2z. And then that becomes plus 5x. This minus or minus is plus, but you have a minus. So, minus 5y, again, this is a plus. Plus 10z. So you have that. So minus 2x plus 2y minus z. That becomes plus 5x minus y plus 2z. This is minus 2x. When you combine, you have... Uh, when you multiply here, you get negative 4y. And you have plus 2z. So this one, 5x minus 5y plus 2z. But you have 5, so 5 times 2, they have 10z. Then combining terms, we have minus 2x and 5x should give us positive 3x. Minus 4y and minus 5y should give us minus 9y. And 2z plus 10z is equal to 12z as computed earlier. We have the following remarks. The addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions can also be per performed by placing them in separate rows with like terms in the same vertical column. So what we did earlier is a method wherein we solve horizontally, so we can also solve vertically. For example, you have 3x plus 2y plus 5. You're asked to subtract this quantity from this. So you, you place 2y minus 3z minus 4 first, okay, here. But since you have an x there, so here there's no x. So the variable x has zero numerical coefficient. So you have plus 2y minus 3z minus 4. And in here, you have your 3x, so subtract. So I mean to say you have to uh, put the minus sign before 3x plus 2y plus 5. So this one. So minus 3x, and this is good for the entire thing. 
So I'm going to say this one, 2y, that should be minus 2y when you distribute the minus sign. And then this is minus 0z, and then minus 5. So this one should give us negative 3x. This is 0, minus 3z, okay, plus 0, so minus 0. Then this is minus 4, minus 9, so minus 9. Oops. Oops, so na yan. Ito, minus 3x plus y minus 3z minus 9. You're asked to solve the following exercises. So you may copy them, remove the symbols of grouping, and simplify. So let us just try to solve number 2 and 4. And the remaining can be solved later on. If you still have time, you can solve for that. So let us try number two. Number two says that I have three times the quantity two h plus three p minus the quantity p minus two times you have k minus two h bracket and then you have your brace again. Your brace calls for this one. This group. So minus two plus k plus h. So the inner symbol of grouping is this one. If we can see there it is. So we have following. 3 <laughs> times 2h is 6h. 3 times 3p is 9p. In here, you have to remove the symbol of grouping of this one first. So minus 2k, then minus of minus, so that becomes plus 4h. So because there's a p, then you have a p there. Then minus 2p minus 2k minus 2h. So next, you can have 6h plus 9p. You remove this symbol grouping that becomes minus p. This is plus 2k when you remove that symbol grouping there. Minus or plus, so you have minus 4h. Then minus 2p minus 2k minus 2h. Now, you can combine similar terms. <clears throat> 6H minus 4H, that should give you 2H. 9P minus P, that's 8P. Minus 2P is 6P. And then, that's for your K, you have plus 2K minus 2K is 0. So this is what we have. 6x minus 4h, 6h minus 4h, this one. Then minus 2h, which is, so I'm getting minus 2h. 6h minus 4h, and this one is minus 2h, that one. And then 9p minus p. Uh, there's no p anymore here. Then minus 2k, 2p, uh, minus plus 2k. Uh, this one. Plus 2k. So the answer for h minus 2h, that's 2h. Then um, minus 4h minus 2h, that's 6h. Negative 6h. Then plus 6h, that's 0. 9p minus p minus 2p, this is supposed to be 9p minus p is 8p minus 2p, so you have 6p. 2k minus 2k is 0. So add the two polynomials and we subtract the second polynomial from the first. So add. Let us just solve number 2. Okay, I'll leave the rest for your exercises. Add the two polynomials. If we add 3y to the fourth minus y squared plus y minus 1 with 4y to the fourth minus 4y to minus y squared plus 6, we have the following A. Eh? That is 3y to the fourth minus y squared plus y minus 1. Then 4y to the fourth minus 4y cube minus y squared plus 6. It's not preceded by a minus sign, so we can just simply combine similar terms. 
you have 3y to the 4th and then plus 4y to the 4th there. Minus y squared. Okay, then minus y squared. So, so plus y. Okay, you have y. There's no y there. So minus 1 and then the plus 6. So meaning to say that 3y to the 4th minus 4y cubed there. Minus y squared at 1 plus y. Then minus 1 and then you have plus 6. So combining similar terms, you have this is 7y to the 4th. This is negative 4y cubed, negative y squared, and the negative y squared, negative 2y squared. This is y minus 1 plus 6 that's equal to 5. So the other one is subtract the second polynomial from the first. So from the first, I mean, just say you write down. This one first. Subtract the second polynomial from the first. So you have to subtract this from the first. So you have 3y to the fourth minus y squared plus 1 plus y minus 1. Minus this preceded by a minus sign. So that becomes minus 4y to the fourth plus 4y cubed. Then we have a plus y squared and then you have minus 6. So... This one minus y squared plus y minus 1. It's 4y to the 4. The minus of minus, that becomes plus. Minus of minus, that becomes plus. Minus of plus, that becomes 6. So 3y to the 4th minus 4y to the 4th plus 4y cubed minus y squared. Okay. So this is 3y to the 4th minus 4y to the 4th should give us negative y to the fourth this is 4y cubed minus sub minus y squared that becomes <coughs> to the p then y minus one dapat ito plus itong isang y squared this should be plus let me just correct that one it should be plus pen this should be you have here uh, y and then plus sorry, plus y minus y squared that should be minus y squared this one is minus y squared then that should be plus y squared the other one should be plus plus y squared it should be plus y squared okay so that becomes now let's see becomes negative y to the fourth that's plus four y cube this is zero and this is y minus one so y there minus one minus six is minus seven so that ends the discussion these are the references so let me just stop sharing and then say escape. I'm sharing the bus. Discard the annotation. And let us have this one. Okay, so stop recording. Stop recording.